So Todd Phillips is our speaker this year, and I'm so excited my friend is here. And he's going to be talking about getting uncomfortable. In fact, he wrote this book, uh, this, this curriculum called Get Uncomfortable, Serve the Poor, Stop Injustice, and some other things. He gets kind of wordy. This book has changed my life. Everything in this book is unbelievable. I've never read it, uh, but I've been told that it's really good. See, his theme, Get Uncomfortable, I, I kind of think I know where he's going to go with it. Um, he's saying that get uncomfortable, uh, being uncomfortable is a good thing. It's better than being too comfortable. And uh, see, so yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get uncomfortable now. So at the retreat, I don't feel uncomfortable about when Todd makes me feel that I've been too comfortable. I'm going to do some things that get me outside of my comfort zone. And I'm going to take JP over here, and he's going to get uncomfortable, and the rest of the young adult staff. See, it's like a preemptive strike. And a preemptive strike is like when somebody's going to do something to you, you kind of push the button first. And uh, so, like, if someone was going to, like, shoot a missile at you, you take the missile and you, like, blow yourself up with it first so, uh, so that you're the one that's in control. So listen up, guys. I think, as a young adult staff, we've gotten too comfortable. And as of today, all that's going to change. See, what we're going to do is we're going to go from here. We're going to go out in the real world and get uncomfortable. See, Carlos, you might know this. The word comfortable comes from the Mexican word comfortable or comfort diablo which means to sleep or to fall asleep. In fact, in this bag, to get us warmed up, I have three things that if you were to ingest them into your mouth, they might make you feel very uncomfortable. Hey, like, so we have day, you get a jalapeno that. pepper, Perfect. That's great. a sariano pepper, and last but definitely not least, the habanero, <laughs> the diablo of the pepper. So Nothing, scared. Yeah. Oh! It burns. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Mm. It's not even doing anything yet, Beth. It burned my tongue. <laughs> the habanero. The diablo of the pepper. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do any more. My lips, my tongue, everything is like... I believe in this. I believe in being uncomfortable. <clears throat> my coworkers don't believe in this, but I do. This is a bad idea. JP, hey, what are you doing? We're not taking your car. We're taking this. Dude, get... there's, there's six of us. Hey, get with the program. Get uncomfortable. Uh, I'm, I'm okay. You guys, yeah, just move. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> We're here at Ella Blue, and I'm gonna go inside and see what kind of nice guys' clothing they have in here. Shopping for anyone special? Uh, yeah. yeah, someone real special, actually. Nice. Fitting, fitting rings back here. Do you have any more of these? Um, yeah, I do. Fantastic. Do you think that, uh, that, uh, this fits okay? Um. What's wrong? It doesn't really fit you. Does it fit? No. What, do you have any smaller? You know there's a men's clothing store next door. Hey, how you doing? I just went to the doctor today and he said, uh, said I had a major rash. He said it was, like, contagious. I wasn't supposed to leave the house for, like, five days. No, I'm not, le I'm not, I'm leaving the house. Hold on, Spin, I'm gonna order a Starbucks. Yeah, I went to the doctor this morning. No, it's not a big deal. No, it's not. No, he just said I had this rash and it's really contagious. But it's not a big deal. Um, could you put this for me in the small, please? I'm, I'm sorry, I don't work here. Oh, well, do you think you could find it anyways? I don't work here. What does quarantine mean? Hi, I need this in a small, please. Oh, well, could you find someone that does? I'll be in the dressing room waiting. He said, stay in the house for seven days because I have a crazy rash. I know, it's disgusting. 
I know, I'm a freak, dude. I'm not even supposed to leave the house. He said the rash, like, if I even breathed on anyone, they would get it. We're here at Zero Gravity, and uh, we're all gonna do a few different rides here. We're gonna do the um, blast off, which shoots about 120 feet into the air, reverse bungee, 75 foot bungee where we dive off. And then we're gonna do about 110 foot free fall with nothing attached um, into a safety net. Too? What's the cutoff? 240 is a cutoff? Are you serious? Dude, I'm not trying to push any limits, man. Right? <laughs> 238. Feeling real safe about this. I can't do it, bro. I'm, I'm dead serious. Man, I'm dead serious. I might I might do the swing. And the guy said 240, man. You're crazy. I don't like to fly. I don't, hey, I don't like to jump, for that matter, okay? No, it's not going to happen. Look at the, the one pose I did in wobble. Panama City. That looked like somebody's crazy you go eighth grade fast. science experiment. Yeah. Somebody, really somebody built that thing yesterday, man. Hey, we're too short on this thing. I'll sit out. All right, let's get uncomfortable. One. Launch, 07. Low range, low range! Oh, jump, jump, jump! <laughs> Woo! Hurt my job. Hey, JP, I want you to go first. Ladies first, bro. Not me. I gotta change my underwear. Drop zone clear. Launch 07. Uh, I think I'm about ready to head home now that these guys have done the 100 foot drop. Hey guys, my last statement. I love fried chicken, beans, black beans, rice, and limes, and a margarita. I wish to be buried in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> mind getting uncomfortable, but that's just stupid. So this whole day didn't really work out exactly like I planned that it would. But you know, Todd Phillips used to be from Texas. It's, it's uncomfortable here. It's hot down here. And then Todd moved up to Washington, D.C., where everything's pretty. I've been to Washington, D.C. before. I went there on a sixth grade field trip. You know, everybody's always dressed up in their fancy schmancy suits, and the buildings are beautiful and nice, and the weather's nice. It's like it's, the whole city's air conditioned. I remember sitting outside by the Denzel Washington Monument at night. It's, it's very comfortable in Washington. Todd Phillips needs to get uncomfortable. That's uncomfortable. <laughs>